One of the first things I asked Ben was about the other companies that aren't yet household names as he looks to invest in the next big thing. Well, one of the recent investments we, we made is in a company called Lytro, and uh, Lytro is an incredible uh, technological breakthrough. So for, you know, since the beginning of time when you take pictures and uh, this video is capturing a plane of light. So, right, just, just back, yeah. Lytro is a camera, camera company, company, essentially. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so a camera company, and that really transforms the way you do photography, because normally you spend a lot of time focusing, trying to get the light right, trying to get everything right. With this camera, they just captured the entire scene, every, uh, every beam of light in, at every point in uh, space. And so you can focus and light it after you take the picture. So after, so long yeah. after you've captured the image, you realize the thing in the background of what you want, like yeah. the thing in the foreground that you mistakenly focused on. Exactly, exactly. And you change the focus, change the lighting. Um, it's got a 3D element to it where you can kind of walk around the picture because you've got all the light angles. So it's really going to And that's a story about a computing thing, power yeah. and storage, really. We've gotten to a point where storage doesn't need to be silver nitrate film. Yeah, yeah. well, that's a big thing. So, it, right, digital photography had to precede it. So, you know, that had to happen. And and storage had to get cheap enough. And then also, um, there's a real uh, breakthrough in the physics of being able to capture a light field in something that can fit in your pocket, which is you know not an easy thing to do. Now, let, let me back up a little bit. We're here in, in Sun Valley, Idaho, the Allen & Company Conference, yeah. uh, uh, media conference. But I've, I've seen, number one, I've seen a lot of tech people here. And I don't really know what goes on on the other side of the door. Hey. I've never attended as an attendee. The media is banned from yeah. this media event, ironically. Yeah. What goes on? What did what, you learn today? Well, you know, first rule of fight club. <laughs> right, right, there is no fight club. Don't, don't, there is talk, no about, Allen don't talk about Allen Conference. Well, you know, one of the great things about the conference is that they bring in a, a really broad variety of topics. So, you know, normally if I go to conference, it's all tech stuff. Um, here they've got, you know, international affairs, big domestic issues, and great experts talking about every single topic. And so, you know, which is why it's got such a great reputation and why uh, they get so many um you know, interviewable people, you know, at least and about Oprah. me, but yeah, and yes. You and <laughs> yes. Oprah. Yeah, me and Oprah, yeah. Um, so d did you learn anything today? Oh yeah, yeah, well, uh, always, <laughs> always learned a lot of things. Um, you know, one of the most interesting things uh, was they had a, a general talking about uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and how, um, how common it is in the Iraq war uh, and in Afghanistan and how intense that combat is, uh, which is something, you, you know, doesn't really get covered that much and you don't really think about it. But, you know, those, those soldiers see far, far more uh, kind of life-threatening action than almost any preceding war, um, which is really incredible. Uh, oh, and sad. Um, yeah. Uh, also, deals seem to happen here or start to happen here. I, I saw a lot of stuff in the lounge late last night. I was able <laughs> yeah. to see that part of the event. Um, uh, just, is that one of the things you get out of this kind of conference? Well, I think less than uh, deals, it's more relationships. So uh, there are a lot of so there's a couple of things that the the Allen uh, company does a great job of. One is they get like really uh, important and um, you know just meaningful people here. And then the other thing they do is they really screen for the kind kinds of business people they get. So like if you're really successful but um, not necessarily the kind of person that Alan would do business with, uh, those kinds of people won't be here. And so it's a great environment to build relationships with the kind of people you would like to do business with.